Hey, this is Ryan with TrendLizard.com again. I'm going to take a look at another ETF for a subscriber here. Uh, we just looked at SPYV, which was the S&P 500 value ETF. This is another uh, ETF along those same lines. It's QUAL, iShares Edge uh, Quality Factor ETF. It actually plays out a decent amount uh, similar to SPYV as well as the overall market. It was incepted back in 2013, about mid-year. Hard to say exactly what was going on here as far as the Elliott Wave labeling goes, <clears throat> but obviously it was trending upward. Uh, it hit a snag here in mid-2015 and pulled back into early 2016, which is uh, what the overall market did. So I have no real solid proof that this is a third and a fourth wave on QUAL, um, but that's what the overall market did, so I'm fairly comfortable calling uh, that a fourth wave. This spike here, I'm not too concerned with. That's obviously not real data, or even if it was, it was just somebody making a really dumb trade. So basically, all we're concerned with is what's happened since the 2016 low. And like you'll see, uh, it's very similar to the rest of the market with what's gone on here. It's in a big five wave advance. In 2018, uh, it's been in a large fourth wave pullback. We'll take a little bit closer look at that and get into the details. But uh, it does look like it could be getting closer to a more important high but it does not have one in place yet so let's go ahead and zoom in and look at this action here um, actually this is looking at the advance off the 2016 low just dives in a little bit deeper looks at all the five wave advances that have played off uh, played out internally you can see it's a very clean move and it doesn't have much overlap where previous or, or lows do not overlap with previous highs. So that's a good thing. It's all bullish. It's good stuff until 2018, just like so many other ETFs and stocks and market indexes and whatever else uh, that we've seen. Things have just gone kind of sideways, and that's what's been happening. So uh, like I said, it looks like QUAL is still in a fourth wave pullback, even though it set a new high recently. Uh, and I'll show you why as we drill in a little bit further. So let's take a closer look at the 2018 pullback. This is it here. Uh, the high occurred in January, just like it has happened on so many other stocks and ETFs and market indexes. It pulled back. Its actual initial low within just a couple weeks of the high is still the low that's in place for the pullback. Um, but that may not be the case. We'll, we'll have to see how that plays out. But we are confident that the pullback is still in play. So the reason we know that, even though a new high was set, is that it wasn't a trendy move. Nothing that happened to the upside has been trendy. You recall that trendy moves play out in five waves move five wave moves, and there's just simply no way to call this a five wave move. So we have to think that this was all part of a B wave within an A B C pullback that's not over yet. C uh, the C wave appears to now be underway. Lower levels have to be expected here. It can move all the way back to 78 where it set that low back in February. Um, but it's it's hard to say if it will just because it set a new high. There's a thing called a running correction, and let me kind of visualize that for you. Uh, you can see that the 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 high that occurred here was definitely above this one. So it's kind of a running move where everything's still kind of slanted upwards, even though it's still uh, a, an actual pullback. So if that's the case, this would point more down towards like 8150, 82, where a low could occur. Whatever the case may be, um, this is a counter trend move. The, the the advance will continue overall, but the counter trend move is not over yet. So I think you have to expect lower levels in the near term. A move above 88.50 at any point would be a good sign that the pullback has ended. You could buy it there if that's what you're looking to do. Otherwise, I think you're okay if you're a mid to long term uh, outlook on this guy. I think you're doing okay. But if you're looking to get in or you're a short term player, I wouldn't be trading it as a short term play. And if you're looking to buy, again, I'd wait for the low and then look for something strong to the upside to buy. So I hope that's helpful. I've got one more ETF coming your way uh, from the analysis you requested, and we'll get right to that.